Okay, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by and hopefully the video will help you in your designing process. If you're a return viewer, thanks for the view time and I wish you'd really hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and uh, if you're a return viewer and subscriber, uh, greatest appreciations. Thank you very much. Uh, today, uh, we're just going to do a little quick tip on uh, texturing the 3D Builder. Uh, so, well, let's get started. Let's just grab a surface, uh, and I'm just going to do a planer just for demonstration purposes. And then I'm going to select that, and I'll just uh, put it in the center here real quick, uh, just, just because. And then we'll go ahead and turn it to plastic. And right away, we'll check our points. So we have the one, two, three, four points, right? Uh, so, oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, apply some texture to this. So we go to our tools and we'll go to the texture 3D uh, and we'll just pick this bamboo. We'll use this one for the example for all of them today. Uh, and we will hit select and we'll close out of that. Okay, so right away you get a texture like this, right? Uh, and over here in the texture builder, you have your normal texture and you have your advanced. Well, uh, what we're going to do to all of them first is drop them down to three and drop it down to uh, two. Okay, and we're not going to mess around with the rotation on this particular video. It's uh, uh, not really the demonstration or the point for the video today. Uh, you can also go to your advance. You can uh, set your height, black height up and uh, redo some of your white. Basically, it's just uh, doing a size dictation. So it's uh, making it thicker, right? So if I put it up to 0.5 it the whites are at a 0.5 and so you can displace it uh, that way as well uh, i'm not going to mess with the mess resolution right now it'll just uh, eat up my computer uh, and right now we have it set on high which is the default we'll leave that alone mapping channels we'll leave it at uh, mapping channel i believe that's mapping channel one uh, these are for different things maybe if you have a circular thing you want to use this one a box style you can use that one there uh, which will take i think uh, i don't know uh, so many sides of a box and displace it that way uh, but we'll just leave it on mapping channel one for this demonstration i'm not going to go into this too much it's really about uh, getting uh, different kinds of texture out here and how to do that i will be putting together more videos here in the near future uh, uh on the texturing a little bit more detailed but this one's just going to be very basic and hopefully very quick for you so not waste your time so let's go ahead and take that one and you can see the mesh and the way it's built in there right so we'll just take that uh so right now we have that and if we turn on points uh you can see that it's still there but let's most of the time when designing of course you want the least amount of points or uh it's much much better right uh, but when it comes to texturing and displacement maybe that's not always the case so let's go ahead and rebuild this one and we'll rebuild it and this time we'll take it up to point count we'll do uh, a 60 and we'll do this one as a 60 as well okay and then we'll just go ahead uh, delete input uh, and we'll go ahead and enter okay so now we have tons of points out there let's go ahead and get rid of those uh, and we'll go back to our texture builder and we'll put that same bamboo on there and hit select and close that out and we'll drop this down to a three so everything is exactly the same as the other one except for the point count and as you can tell we have a lot better surface out here let's go ahead and enter and let's take this one and drag it over to here uh, now you'll need to be playing around with these but if you look at your server we have a lot more points uh, or poly uh vertices out there to get that surface right so it's going to be a much larger file but there's things we can do and i'll get to that in a second uh so let's go ahead and just do this one more time let's take our uh, surface there and type in rebuild and we'll we'll jack it all the way up to 100 points and 100 points that's that's a lot massive amounts of points right and if i turn on my points uh, we have massive amounts of points <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get out of those points and let's go back to our texture builder and uh, we'll take that same surf uh, bamboo there 
and we'll go over here and we'll drop it down to a three and we'll drop it down to a two so everything is the same except for the point count now look at it uh much much better right uh not not terribly different right so let's go ahead and hit enter now let's take that original surface if i can grab it and we'll just hide it for right now we don't want it out here uh so let's if you look at the point count or the vertices on this one here they're like major right and of course this one here is is pretty intense but not nearly as many as there of course right and then of course this one barely but your detail is dropping so there you go there's the point uh more uh more points equal a better surface, but larger file, right? But there are things we can do here. So uh, if we look on the this one here, for, we'll just start with this large one here. And we, we type in a reduce a mesh, and we'll hit enter. Our, st our starting polygon count is 291,000. That's like massive, right? Uh, so I'm going to reduce it down just 50% and then hit uh, OK. And then we're going to have to uh, wait for the it to be reduced. And we're there. OK. So broke history. OK. Uh, so now we have it. And if we turn it on, you can see there's a lot less points out there. But we didn't really lose that much detail in the surface itself for the most part. And you could do the same thing. It looks more like this. And what's this one? This one is 102,000. Let's see it cancel. Uh, let's go ahead and click this one. What is it now? It's 145,000. So you still get a little bit better surface, but you have a lot more point counts out there, right? So you can keep on reducing and, and checking it out and seeing what's best for your needs. So let's reduce it uh, by 50% and hit OK. And wait for the update. And now you can see there's a, a lot less, and we really didn't still lose that much compared to that first one exact uh, most definitely and, and this one here it's it's really pretty close the same but still maybe a little bit sharper in those uh elongated uh sections there so you kind of want to play around with the reducer and, and find something that's it's down to thirty six thousand. so uh and what's this one here this one's probably a real well, 10,000. So, but really, uh, for the detail that you're getting for what you want, uh, maybe you need to up that point count and then just maybe uh, start reducing the mesh to get it down to the file size you want. Uh, and hopefully this video helps, but uh, it really does a, a big difference, as you can see. Uh, so, uh, if you like the video and it helps, it's helpful, please, please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Uh, leave a like and a, a comment below. Uh, and share the video. Thanks for watching and uh, good designing.